easy white bean and mushroom soup. This is very simple. I've got some store-bought shortcuts I want to show you. Just really first starting with this. If you have not gone to your freezer section and done some reinvigoration of your freezer section at home, you are missing out because you can get these sauteed and chopped onion pods. You keep them in your freezer. They stay good for a long time. They also have garlic, ginger, and some people have even found some herb ones in the freezer section. So just a couple of little pods. Could just plunk them out, and they'll just kind of meld into everything. Matter of fact, I'll add three. Um, and then to that, I've got some mushrooms. I just buy a couple of those little packs of wild mushrooms that are like mixed together, and I chop them down. So get that in. No salt yet, okay, because the salt's gonna make it sweat, and then they're gonna steam more than they will actually brown and cook. So just get them in there. I've got my pot on like a nice medium high so they can actually get a little bit of color on them, turn it up a little bit. And then to the pot, some thyme. It's like nature's own bouquet garni. It's, it's already attached and ready to go. Just get that in there. All right, now, mushrooms soak up a lot of fat, so you might have to add a little bit of extra olive oil, but not too much, and let it just kind of hang out for a second, all right? You're just gonna wait until everything cooks down. Kind of like spinach mushroom, has lots of water in it. So you'll start with a big pile and then everything cooks down to a small little bit. This is gonna bring a lot of color actually as well to our soup. Okay, to that, I love these little tiny sweet peppers. You can find them, they have like yellow, orange and red and all just one big bag. Sometimes I'll just put them on the grill and char them and serve them right next to a steak. Uh, but they're also very good in this. Just chop them down, they're not spicy at all. Add a nice sweet note and color, it's beautiful. Uh, then a can of white beans, cannellini, just rinse them off and get them in there. Okay, a little bit of flavor here. I love adding grained Dijon mustard to gravies and sauces, so why not a soup? It just adds a little bit of funk, a little zip as well to that vegetable stock. Wait a minute! Am I going vegan? Slow down. <laughs> but listen, I haven't added any animal fat yet, so this is good for the vegans, my vegan crew. As you add this in, remember that bottom that was nice and golden brown and crusted from sauteing our mushrooms? Just make sure you use your spoon to get in there and just really move things around. Now, to this, I like to add some salt. Okay, because remember, we did not salt the mushrooms. The vegetable stock is gonna come with its own kind of salt. And then tons of black pepper. Just go, you know, go crazy and add extra flavor. But look at this. All right, so I'm going to cover this. It's gonna simmer for about 20 minutes. That's just gonna allow all of the flavors to really come together. And then we're gonna add in Katie's favorite ingredient. You already know what it is. <laughs> all right, let me get the soup up here. Now remember, cover it up, low simmer, and look at this. How it reduces, and just really, it is showing off. Beautiful. Now, remember that sprig that we put in in the very beginning? That sprig of thyme with personality? Just go in and get it out. All right, as it's nice and bubbly here, um, another store-bought shortcut I love is going into the produce section and getting that bag of already pre-shredded kale. Uh, I further chop it down because I don't want the strings. I always think about getting things onto my spoon when I make a soup. I want everything to be on the spoon at the same time. So in my mind, I want some bean, I want some mushroom, and I want some kale to all be on the spoon. So chopping down the pre-shred will really get you to the finish line there. This only takes about 60 seconds to wilt in. Kind of has the curb appeal of an Italian wedding soup. There you have it. It is my white bean and mushroom soup. So simple, so much personality, so much color. Come on, start your dinner party off right. Look at that. Now at the very end, I like to come in and just kind of make it nice and bright. It's really gonna marry well with that mustard that you put in there. It's gonna really make the mustard kind of talk. And what I'm talking about is a quick little spritz of lemon. 
So you can kind of serve a little lemon wedge with it and allow everyone to be interactive with their soup. And then, a little hot sauce.